guys, welcome back to our channel. Once again, if you're new here, my name is Chelen and this is Fanbaman Y. And to all the subscribers that is always there, thank you guys for coming back and thank you for joining me. And if you're new, thank you for joining me as well. For this particular video, I will be making another miniature project and this is the miniature arch wall backdrop that I made. It's made of foam board. This is the back side and front side. So if you want to know how I made this, please stick around and I will show you how to buy a the regular or the life-size backdrop, wall arch backdrop. Go to ubackdrop.com. They're very good, a good site, good website, and they have a lot of arches that you can choose on. So this is actually inspired by ubackdrop.com. So I made a miniature one just for this particular project and the previous project that I made, if you check that out, is another miniature wall backdrop that I made and it's a circular one. But this particular video is a miniature arch wall backdrop. All right guys, and now I'm gonna show you how I made this. Please stick around. All right guys, so we have our foam board right here. I got this from a Dollar Tree store. So I make a pattern right here. I made a drawing. So the height for this one is 20 inches and this one is 17 inches. So now from the size of this side to side, the first one is 12. So 12 by 20 inches. This is also 12 by 17 inches. This would be our miniature arch wall backdrop. So on the side here, it's two inches thickness, okay? If you ask me how did I do the arch on the top, you can either use a regular plate, put it on here, and then trace and on this case I use a bigger ball and I trace it there okay so just put two inches here line up two inches just like that so now it's ready to we're ready to cut them so using your exacto knife be careful So there you go, there's your arch wall. So it'll be like that, okay? So I'll make two of this so it'll be more sturdier. So I'll make another one and then tape it together or glue it together. All right guys, so it's time to spray this. I, was, I got this from Walmart or any paint store. Dry, fast dry. So I'll paint this one and this one that's coming from here. Right guys, so this is the one I sprayed last night. It's not drying. So to be honest with you, after I spray that with the, the paint, you can see that it wrinkled up on the one of the paper, one of the side. So now what I end up doing this morning is I rip this up and I put like glue on the back of the paper. And then we will actually glue this on this one here. So it's nice and, and um, sturdy and thick. So hope Hopefully, I'm hoping that when I tape this together, I'll get rid of that wrinkle. So we'll find out. So now I'm gonna use our glue gun. There you go, gold and then white. So it's up to you if you wanna use the gold side or the white side. This is actually the one in the middle and I took it off like that. You can use like this. So basically our plan is to either have 
one white right here or I might end up we don't know yet if I end up using this as well or not like that here this is gonna be our base I will cut this this is 24 inches 24 inches by 10 okay it's time to mount this on here And there you go guys, this is our miniature balloon arch wall backdrop. So these are the materials, they're all 5 inches balloons and all the colors, sizes and description will put it on the link down below. Please check that out. I inflated this using my hand pump just like that one and then I inflated this to one is 3 inches or 7 0.62 centimeter this one is 2.5 inches or 6.35 centimeter and also we have, we have 3.5 inches or 8.89 centimeter and the bigger ones I inflated is to 5 okay those are the sizes of balloon we inflated them to so now basically you just want to grab one of your balloon it doesn't matter what size because this is gonna be a, you're gonna make a quad and it becomes cluster. So when you make clusters of balloon, it doesn't matter what color, I mean what size. So you just grab like this. So if you wanna know a step-by-step -step detailed tutorial for this, we have a different video tutorial that you can check. Please do check that out. All right guys, so it's time to attach our balloons here. So before we do that, we need our 260Q. I got this one, or you can use any, any rubber band or fishing line, all right? But with this project, I'll be using 260Q. So we'll put the 260Q here using your screwdriver, just punch a hole, and then this will hold your clusters of balloons. So I'll make a knot right here. Actually, I'll put like three or four so it's not gonna come out. So there, it's not gonna come out. So now, all you need to do is attach your clusters of balloon. I'll start it from here.
All right, guys, so it's finally, um, I finally shaped that like the way I wanted. And now it's time to personalize this using our sticker from our um, Cameo 4 machine. And we'll put the sticker right here. This is just to personalize so you can use any um, label like happy birthday. And there you go guys, this is finally done. And what I did is like, I just add some lights right there. And I can, we can actually turn this on right there. There, I, I added the lights on and then the final touch after your label right there. I'll put like our, okay, flower arrangement. Right there, guys. Ain't that beautiful? So there you go, guys. It's finally done. This is our balloon bouquet slash miniature balloon garland with the arch wall backdrop. And if you want to buy the actual arch wall backdrop the real one the big one please go to ubackdrop.com they have lots of selections for using your arch wall backdrop i hope you like this um arrangement and learn something from this channel from this video today and as I, as you can see i use the the board right here and then at the back you'll see the lights okay thank you guys for watching bye